One of the most challenging steps about designing websites with Divi is this blank canvas. It has nothing on it and sometimes it can be quite difficult to bring your creative ideas together. But check this out. As of today, we can now create our landing pages using Divi AI. This is a brand new feature from Elegant Themes. Now let's see how it works. I am now giving Divi AI the instructions of the type of landing page I need to build. All right, so I'm quite vague here, so I'm curious to see what comes out of this. So here it says customize fonts and colors. Now I like this because I can go ahead and add all my fonts, but the option here to let AI choose for us is there. So I'm gonna leave everything as it is and click on generate layout. As the AI was generating my page for my personal trainer, I was really wondering what would happen if I created another page on a separate website using the same prompt. Would it create the same landing page? Let's wait and see. So this is a brand new website. I'm gonna click on build with AI and I'm also going to add the same prompt. I noticed that building these pages takes a bit of time, but we have all the time in the world because we need to see the changes. So this is taking a bit long because I think my internet speed is uh, quite slow and I have so many tabs open, but in your case, this could be quite fast. After waiting for just over a minute, we were ready to see the design. Actually, this is quite interesting. I mean, if you look here, we have a relevant background image here. The text is also quite uh, okay. And when I scroll down here, we also have our features. And you know what's even more interesting here? If you take a look at the text, it's all the right size. And if you read it, it looks like the copy is actually perfect. Okay, so let's continue on here. Here's our testimonials. So far, so good. And DVAI has actually impressed me. We also have a call to action. Now, I really like this. And this now gives me a very, very good starting point when it comes to designing my websites. But it brings me another question. Does this mean that pre-made layouts are now obsolete? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the video description below. Remember, in the beginning of the video, we wanted to see if DVAI would produce the same type of layout on a totally different website if we use the same prompt. Now is the moment of truth. If I click over here, wow, we can see it's a totally different uh, layout. And when we scroll further down here, yeah, we can see there's differences. The way the testimonials are here totally different to the first layout. So this is a good thing because my main worry was maybe the AI is going to showcase the same type of website. And pretty much that's not the case. So for me, that's a big plus. After being impressed by DVAI, I still had more questions. Now, let's say I was not happy with this design. What could I do? Perhaps you could just come back over here, click on this plus button, build with AI and override this. So I'm gonna give it a similar prompt. At this point, it looks like this is the only option that we can do to reset the design that we don't like. I'm gonna click on generate layout. Now, while this is happening, I wanna show you something very interesting over here. So first of all, I'm going to clear this layout and then start from scratch. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and then click on build with AI. So I really want to focus here on the bottom where we can customize our fonts and our colors. And I think this is very, very important. And, and the video that I saw by Nick did not really go into detail about this section here. And I think this is very important. Now, if you can come over here and choose your primary color, I mean, this is super awesome because sometimes you probably have gone to a totally different website to create your color palette. So this is where it'll just come over here, click on custom and then you can start adding your colors. So let's say this is our first color. Click on the check mark as my primary color. I can come over here for my secondary color. Again, I'm gonna click in here, and this time I wanna go with maybe something like that as my secondary color. So just like that, I've added in the most crucial part of my design, which is my basic colors. Over here now, we have our fonts. So we have our heading font. We can choose the name here. Now you guys know I love Poppins, so I'm just gonna search for it. I can add it right here. The body font as well. Search for Poppins. 
add it. And then over here, I can also add my heading font color. So this time I'm gonna go with Divi AI default. So now we can go in and give our AI the prompt to start designing our website. Now, there's also a question that I was asking myself, and that was, if I create this homepage, what happens to the other pages that I need to create on my website? Are we going to have similar fonts? Are we gonna have similar um, colors and so on? And then I noticed this button over here on the top. Turns out that this was the solution of keeping all our pages consistent with all the right colors and fonts throughout the whole website. Divi has really thought about this and this is really, really good. Now, when it comes to the images, I can see here that they are super polished. I probably wouldn't use these uh, images here because you can tell that these images here are made using AI. So I would probably leave the layout as it is, but then I'll just go in and replace these images with my own images, just by coming over here to module settings. And then I'll just come into um, the images and then choose a totally different image. You can see here that it replaces it. And that's how you would customize your website when you are designing it using AI. Same applies here with the text. You can just come over here and change you know, all your text. But what I really like about this as well is, although it just created our, our layout, I can still go in here and further customize it. So for example, I can go in here and generate content with AI. So what I could do is I could refine it. I could also come here and improve, rephrase it, uh, lengthen, shorten, and do all those, uh, all those other things, which I think is really, really good. Okay, now let's move on to the next part, which is the paragraph text. So let me save that and then come over here as well. And you're also going to notice that we are going to have similar options. So if I click on here, I can say, make it more detailed, make it more uh, descriptive, engaging, actionable, and so on. So if I just do that, it's gonna generate my text and give me something else to work with. So I really like the fact that the AI now is working as our assistant as we're designing our websites, taking away all that pain of trying to come up with all the text that we need for our websites. Now, let me talk about something else which I think is very important, and that is, can we use this AI for our headers and footers? So I'm just gonna go out of here, go to the dashboard, and I'm just gonna come straight here to my DV theme builder. This time I'm using Divi AI to create my footer for me. And if this works, I'm going to be super impressed. Now I'm telling the AI to build my footer for my personal trainer website for me. Wow. <laughs> this is pretty cool. So it knows that we are creating the footer part of the website and it's adding all the relevant information. So this to me is fantastic. So all in all, I can say Divi AI has really put in the features that we definitely need as designers or anyone who is really getting started with web design. I really, really love this. The only thing that I would like to see probably in the future is maybe some sort of uh, interface where you give it the prompt to design the type of website you want, but before you load in the layout, it gives you all the options first, perhaps maybe on a full page, maybe gives you five or six options, and then you can choose the one you want. Because this takes a bit of time, because once you get the first layout, you then refresh it and then do it again, refresh it, do it again, and so on. This may take a bit of time, but if we have, said say, six to choose from, before we actually load it up, that will be super cool. The other thing I also would like to see is more options on uh, the colors. So I would like to see an option here where I can add the color palette, the complete color palette, and uh, also, yeah, the font section is fine. So I'd say the color palette and also, in fact, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. I'm super excited about this. I will be definitely playing around playing around with this. And also, you can save all these designs to your library if you love them, and you can just reuse them over and over again. So this is a massive leap 
in AI when it comes to the Divi Builder. And I hope quite a lot of you will be playing around with this and seeing you know, what else you can do with it. So far, I'm really excited about this. I know it's not super polished. The images could be a bit better, but overall, this is a nine out of 10 for sure. And I really love what they've done here. If you haven't done so, go and check out Divi AI. Uh, the link to that is in the video description below. There's a uh, special offer here, special discount. So there's one day, eight hours to go. Go ahead, check it out. And also I have a special bonus. If you purchase Divi AI, I will also give you access to Divi University. There's going to be a lot of courses there to uh, help you master Divi and create professional looking websites. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, see you in the next one. Take care. TV AI. Impressive.